Radio Master TX16S, probably one of the hottest products of the 2020, at least RC related products of the 2020. So uh, let's open this baby up and let's see how it's made inside and is there are there any penalties uh, that you have to pay when you let's say do not spend that much of the money on the on the product because uh, let's let's remember that this radio comparing to other radios is at least extremely extremely cheap for 120 130 bucks you have the full blown radio with actually very nice switches hall effect sensors and the multi protocol module with the nice plastic on the inside that feels right in your hands and has the colorful uh, color lcd so why and for example the jumper is at least 30 40 bucks uh, more expensive and if you want to get something comparable from free sky then well you have to pay extra so uh, let's see what's inside well to be honest i already know what's inside because i already opened mine when i just when i received it to open this thing you for, you have to remove the side plates which are made from actually kind of nice nice plus rubberish plasticish thingish and the mold mold is fine on the inside mm, there was some looks like there was some manual manual finishing of the of the of the mold over here but still it's kind of kind of fine the, the i really do have to say that this plastic looks nice it looks nice it feels nice it's maybe not the stiffest radio ever but at least it's it's fine it's fine in terms of the plastic quality on the outside it's really 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 nice if only the the pots over here were slightly more in place and there was slightly more tension friction actually friction on the on the on the sliders over here but but, but nevertheless the overall quality of the of the mold of the plastic is very nice so let's take a screwdriver and i have no idea why they used the, the this is the phillips or the posi drift i think this is the posi drift screws over here why not hex like everywhere like the allen i don't know h2 for example which probably everybody has the allen h2 at hand okay another one and final final what the fuck when i was opening the radio for the first time i really had no idea that you have to move at least loosen those two, two screws which are h two and a half why why if here we have the posi drift or this is Philips. I never, I never really can distinguish which one is Philips, which one is Positrif. Never mind. This is the the simpler one, I think. Then we can try to open it up. Okay, nothing broken. The plastic survived. It's only this thing with the antenna over here. So um, let me zoom in and let's try to take a look at how this radio is built. The PCB is kind of quite thick. Let's try to open the PCB and remove the screws that are holding it in place. But this really looks like a nice and thick PCB that should not break at random moments okay four screws holding the pcb in place okay okay almost 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 okay so the pcb is out let's also remove the wire for the for the vibration motor over here and like I said the PCB is nicely thick the as qual assembly quality of the assembly is nice I do not want to remove the the flat wire over here so let me just open it like that there is this huge flash chip over here memory chip over here 
the huge ARM STM32F4298 in this huge, ungodly huge casing over here. But overall, the PCB is really nice quality. I really have to say that they did not save any money on the quality over here. It's really nice. It's really nice, really thick. The silk screen is super nice, the soldering is nice, so okay, this is not where you are paying the penalty for the relatively low price of the radio. Kudos for Radio Master, right? Kudos, kudos, kudos for the Radio Master. Okay, something is loose over here. Okay, so. I do not have the healing bench and actually I will want to use this radio in the upcoming weekend. So let me quickly assemble the PCB. We will not remove those side panels which hold the buttons over here and this roller over here that just makes no place, makes no sense. Let me zoom out a little. So two last screws and now let's finally take a look at the switches and the switches switches are finally connected with the regular wires not those flat cables that were used on the jumper tx jumper t16 that the cables were the flat wire was uh, breaking all the time here we have nice and very soft silicon wires, switches have a nice detent. If only the those potentiometers for the sliders were kinda like more stiff. It's really super simple to to move them left and right. And uh, here the antenna for the multi-protocol module is put together with some kind of the gluish glue schmo whatever this is it's kind of stiff and really should keep the antenna wire in place all the cables are nicely managed over here so it's nice and now now let's take a look at the quality of the gimbals i'm <coughs> I think I mentioned this thing during my original review of the radio. Um, those gimbals do not feel in your hands like, like, like awesome. They do, however, work. They are precise enough and there are really no problems connected with the gimbals in use. However, they kind of like feel, um, I don't know. I don't want to say plastic because this is not really the feeling. Um, I had better. Maybe this is this is the correct um, correct uh, correct word. And while on the outside the gimbals are made from the relatively nice plastic, not as nice as this over here, but something slightly cheaper over here uh, on the protector on the gimbals. The internals of the gimbals is well. Let's say probably this is where they really shaved some of the cost because those metal thingies are not really very well finished and the plastic over here that holds everything together is really a cheap plastic from a cheap mold that had no any of a nice finish and the hull sensors over here are smallish I think I see this is loose this is this is loose this is loose however it works it works there are really no problems there are no obstacles in the way so so like i like i mentioned before this radio works much better than it feels in your hands and uh, and we cannot but but still so but still the the price of the of the of the quality on the gimbals inside probably still does not really save you that much so what the hell did they did to shave the price so much maybe jumper was just overpricing this thing hmm you know what wait a second i will open the jumper t16 and we will be able to do a quick comparison 
And right after I opened the Jumper T16, I realized that no, they are definitely not the same radios. However, they do really look very similar. Why they are not the same? Because on the front side, they really look the same. But if you take a look at the rear side, you will notice that there are some differences. Like, for example, the battery compartment on the Radio Master is wider. The back uh, plate is held by four screws here and here and those two hexes over here but we will ignore them but on the jumper there are two screws here two screws here and two screws here also the shape of the side panels is completely different so it's really not exactly the same and internally we will of course keep the fact that the jumper over here has no multi built-in multi-protocol module this is only something added later in the radio master and the later generations of the of the jumper but if you take a look at the for example the pcb once again they are very similar for example the place for the uh, cpu is visually almost exactly the same but the shape of the PCB is also different because the jumper has a smaller PCB while the Radio Master has much bigger PCB probably to fit stuff like the USB charger because this is what, what what's inside of this and uh, here on the jumper the SD card is on the teeny tiny dongling tangly thingy connected with the flat wire here on the radio master it's uh, integrated into main pcb and gimbals gimbals are a uh, completely different gimbals and i have to admit that here in the jumper i have the potential meter not the hull effect but the gimbals are completely different here for example here uh, those elements are made from nylon here are they are made from the metal and to be honest i think i like the nylon version more than the metallish uh, over here and um, flat wires everywhere without any management of those wires but besides that i would have to honestly say that i like the internals of the radio master more than the internals of the jumper this really feels more properly built probably because it's just you know it's a next generation of the hardware they noticed something over here improved something over here and as a result in the one year that differs those two radio there is clearly a progress and in terms of the build quality internal quality this is nicer than this one um i'm not sure about the gimbals though i kind of i think if those from the jumper but with the hull effect hmm hard to tell but bottom line very similar radios they clearly share the same <laughs> mold of the of the front section but besides that internally they are different radios at least slightly different it's not like a difference between the x10s and the jumper that i did the video last year but this is definitely definitely not the same hardware inside there are differences and really the the quality on the radio master suits me suits me definitely slightly slightly more um okay so that's all in terms of the teardown of the radio master tx16 s and comparison with the first generation of the jumper t16 that's all for today until the next one bye bye